Hey, what's up? So this is part two of my rundown of the suspects in Elizabeth Adams' murder. In part one, I talked about the French Judge Peru. If you missed it, I'll leave a link in the description. Alright, so episode three's release date has not been confirmed yet. So, I think it's going to come out later this month, though. But until then, we can get ready by going over the rest of the suspects. And in this part, I'm going to discuss Louis' mom and leader of the Golden Order, Sarah. Alright, so it doesn't look good for her. I'll first, I'll start off by saying. So let's, let's go even before Elizabeth's murder. When we first got to the island, we had a vision of Sarah shooting Emily's twin sister, Emma. We later learned that she shot her after asking her to hide the book, the El Azif. And if you remember, that was the book we took from Von Borchert in the prologue. In the vision, Sarah's in, in real rough shape. She's beaten and bloody and she's even missing a hand. So she appears to have undergone some torture, more than likely by someone looking for the book that she had Emma hide. So we know Sarah, she's not in her right mind, she's not acting rational, uh, and if she's willing to kill Emma over the book, we can only deduce she's will she would be willing to kill Elizabeth too if she thought it would stop the location from getting out. So she has a motive, and she's proved that she's capable of murder. And moving on, in episode one, we talked to Elizabeth, and we learned that Sarah experimented on Elizabeth in an attempt to remove an evil that passed into her at birth from her mother. Um, if you don't remember, here's the conversation. Better. I was just a bit queasy. Don't worry about it. It happens all the time. Do you really want to know what made me ill? Last night... I found out that your mother was on the island. What are you doing here? Excuse me, but speaking frankly, why would you care? I know your mother very well. Really? Yes, I have been in your mother's care ever since I was born. She nursed you? Oh, I wouldn't say nursed. No, I remember her stare, cold as ice. Her sadistic hands pressing over my mouth to silence me while I screamed in pain. I remember her knees, too. She held me down with them while she cut and burned scars into me. Hold on a minute. What do you mean? You can ask her when you see her. Huh. She's getting more and more agitated. Look, I've... I've gotta go. Wait. I, I need to know more about you and my mother. Why did she put you through all of that? There must be some reason for what she did. What's the point of rubbing salt in the wounds? You're right. I... I don't want this conversation to turn into an interrogation. You've suffered enough already. I... I respect your silence. Please excuse me. Well, thank you. I know your little game. You're no different from the rest of them. You couldn't give a damn about me. The only thing you're interested in is finding out about your mother. Don't say that. Not, not everyone wants to use you. Some people care about you, don't they? Haven't you got a sister? Yes. I'm sure she loves you with all her heart. She's the only one who cares about me. I would have put an end to it all by now if it weren't for her. Since you insist, I'll tell you how I met your mother. Thanks for trusting me. You see, before I was born, my mother often suffered from hallucinations and fits of anger. Soon people could barely recognize her. She became a completely different person. So my father spent an enormous amount of money paying for the best doctors, but none of them were able to cure her. The last resort was to call a priest. So, is that what your father did? No. He went to an expert in the occult. Ah, my mother. Her reputation already extended beyond our borders. My mother's fit stopped at my birth, and Sarah de Richet concluded that the evil had passed into me. Not only did it encourage her to stay, but she took the opportunity to advise my father to separate me from the rest of my family. That's how I was declared stillborn. 
My fate was decided that very day. It would coincide with my mother's frequent trips to America. I had my first fit when I was three. That's when your mother began her experiments to rid me of the evil inside. I understand how you feel, but I know my mother. I'm sure she had her reasons, even if it seems difficult to believe. Everything she put me through was all for nothing. My whole life was ruined for nothing. So what brings you here then? My father used to know Sir Holm. He offered to introduce me to the world's leading authority in the occult. Lord Mortimer. He was my last hope. Until I found out he had also invited your mother. It's got to be a coincidence. I don't believe for a second she's come here for you. You can't change my mind about this, Louis. My days are numbered, and I know it. Alright, so we know that Sarah has a violent past with Elizabeth. And Elizabeth was scared for her life. Which is emphasized even more in a note that we find at the murder scene. A notebook written in Elizabeth's handwriting. It is written in a mix of several languages. Not too easy to work out. It looks like a mixture of medieval Latin and Anglo-Norman. It is difficult to make sense of this jerky writing. I can make out some passages, though. He's coming. The demon is upon me. He's coming back to kill me. There she is. Death has come to finish me off. I've just run into her son. That was her last entry. What tortured writing. Alright, next, so let's look at the physical evidence we find in Elizabeth's room that point to Sarah. The first clue we have is the murder weapon, which is a small dagger. The blade is short and thin. Well sharpened, apparently. It's covered in blood. Still fresh. The lower part of the handle is unsullied by blood. The murderer gripped the weapon so tight that there's no blood where he held it. The handprint indicates a small and slender hand. The handprint on the handle is really small. I can't imagine a man with a hand that size. It must be from a woman's hand. Next by the window we have a torn piece of dress. A piece of fabric. High quality at that. I'd say it's silk. Going by the texture and the gray hue, it must come from a, a dress, that kind that women of quality wear. It's a travel dress. The silk has been lightly waxed to protect it from bad weather. And I know the very woman who came up with the idea, given all the traveling she does, my mother. God help us. Why did she come here in the first place? material appears to have undergone abnormal wear and tear. She must have been scouring the countryside, and that doesn't look good. Alright, so that's two huge pieces of evidence that point to a woman. That narrows it down to three people on the island. Uh, we know Emily is innocent because we were with her at the time of the murder. And we know her sister Emma is out of commission after being shot. Uh, but just to make sure, you can ask Emily about the evidence too. I found a torn piece of dress in Miss Adams' room. Gray silk. Where's it from? That's what I'm trying to find out. The color doesn't match any of Elizabeth's dresses, but I might not have found all of her clothes yet. Good Lord, Lydia. I... Do you realize what this means? If this piece of dress isn't from Elizabeth, then it's... I don't have any gray silk dresses, Louis. Neither does my sister, since we wear the same clothes. Yeah. That's exactly what I wanted to check with you. I'm so sorry, Louis. Thank you. Are you all right? You know, I'm sure there's a good reason why your mother was at the scene. Thank you, Emily. We found the murder weapon. What is it? A dagger, quite slim. Have you found its owner? Not yet, still searching as it happens. That said, since a blade penetrated the body several times, the murderer's hand will have been covered in blood. Mm. You think that's a clue? The handprint was a very slender hand, Emily. Probably that of a woman. Do you realize what that means? There are only three of us on the island. 
Bearing in mind that neither my sister nor myself had any reason to set upon the young lady, that means... I know, Emily. I know. Alright, so like I said, it doesn't look good for Sarah. And after we do our investigation, we can take our findings to Mortimer and let him know what we found. I believe I've identified the murderer. Really, Louis? All right, then. Please, think carefully before you give me your answer. This is a very, very serious accusation. From what I've found out, I... I... I believe that my mother is the culprit. Even though I find it hard to accept. Sarah? But why her? I found out that there was a, a long history between Elizabeth and my mother. She had been her personal doctor and had tortured her throughout her childhood. Ah, oh. and so she could have tried to silence Elizabeth so the truth wouldn't get out and damage her reputation. Well, it's possible. Have you anything else? Elizabeth thought that mother was going to kill her. Difficult to believe in a simple coincidence in light of recent events. Indeed, it's uncanny. I anything found a else? piece of fabric that appears to have belonged to her and proves she was present at the scene of the crime. Interesting. Anything else? The print left on the knife near the body was left by a slender hand, without a doubt the hand of a woman. And there aren't many female guests. I see. Anything else, really? I think that there is more than enough evidence here. Indeed, it's very worrying. Everything seems to indicate that your mother is responsible for Elizabeth's murder. Given the distinguished guests and the political issues involved at the conference, I trust you'll leave me to conclude the case in my own way. Now that we've examined the question from all sides, maybe you could explain to me why you asked me here, my lord. Alright, there you have it. So, Mortimer seems to agree with us. We, we got overwhelming evidence that Mother did it. But he doesn't get too emotional. He's going to review everything and get back to us. So that's suspect number two, Sarah, our mother, also the leader of the Golden Order. But my final thoughts are, I do not think she did it. Like Peru, I think it's a too obvious choice. I have another guest in mind as my main suspect. There's not as much evidence for this person, but I have a hunch it's them. Uh, I'm going to go into more detail on that in part three. But for now, let me know your thoughts. Do you think Mother did it? Did I miss any clues? Just leave a comment. Try to start a discussion. Alright, thanks for watching. Take care.